Previously, on Billy G Saves the Wild. It is year three, and I am excited. Let me show you why. Plus five on the first line. So, Connor Bedard on the first line with this coach is going to be a cheat code. It's a plus five, and we got Perfetti and Kaprizov with them. This line is going to be, I'm going to say it right now, the best line in hockey. Year three. Second time we've been in the playoffs, we're going against the Winnipeg Jets. Yes, Greenway he wins it in OT. So, series win over the Winnipeg Jets. There we go. Round two, we're going against the LA Kings. 3 1 power play. Kaprizov with another one. There we go. We're in it. Yes, Kaprizov with a hat trick. 3 3. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Clark. Power play. Gearing off. Holy shit. 4-4. Four, four. All right. Great game here. Power play. No! No way! Fucking shorthanded goal. Caprice off with a hat trick. And then we give up a shorthanded goal with eight seconds left in the third period to lose. Yep. There it is, boys. And the Wild are eliminated in five games in the second round to the LA Kings. After a heartbreaking game four. Absolutely heartbreaking game four. And then we give up six in game five. I want to puke. All right. It is the off season of year three. Um, Stanley Cup just was won by the Florida Panthers. We were beaten in the second round by the LA Kings. We beat the Winnipeg Jets in the first round. This video will get into the draft and some off-season signings and some re-signings and maybe some contract extensions if we can. Um, and then we'll see what type of team we can put together for next year. Um, I wanted to look at some contracts just to kind of think some things over so perfetti let's look at him first um he i think will be the first player that we're going to be looking at to get an extension to because he's at two years but this year's over so he has one year deal i think we're going to be able to offer him an extension he's kind of the number one guy on my list right now and then we'll get into Cockney Niemi maybe. Maybe we'll leave Cockney Niemi for the offseason of next year and not extend him right away. Um, I'm not sure yet. But then we have to get into uh, Bedard and Kaprizov. That'll be next offseason, not this offseason. So... But we need to keep them in mind because they're going to need new contracts and they're going to want a shit ton of money. So same with Lambos. So that's basically all of our big guys. Dard, Perfetti, Lambos, Cockney Niemi, Kaprizov. I don't know what I want to do really with Marco Rossi yet. I kind of want to trade him unless... He fits like perfectly on one of our lines, but I can't see that right now. He has no data to display, I guess, because he was in the AHL, and I don't think they really show you until he it's like the regular season or whatever, and you can edit lines. So might have to sign Rossi and then see where he fits in on the NHL team. Two stats I don't like about Rossi is his durability, um, which you guys can see is an 81, and then a face-off of only 73 as a centerman. And normally I'm like, if it's below 75 for face-offs, I normally want him at wing. But I don't know if I want him at wing if Boldy is already a playmaker wing. And he fits perfectly on that second line. So I'd rather play Boldy instead of Rossi at wing. And then Beckman still got that really long deal. So, 
a really long extension. If you can see, he's probably, he's, yeah, he's probably like the longest contract we have right now. But he's under a million, so we can, uh, no, no pressure on him. And then another thought I had was maybe uh, Garyanov. He fits more on that first line than the second line. But it's not terrible on that second line. And I kind of like him, just the stats he puts up. He's a sniper. But he kind yeah he gets more he gets more assists than goals really, but he had a really good uh, playoffs for us just now. But another reason I want to maybe move on from him and maybe put Boldy on that second line instead of him is because his top six low. If you remember, he was an elite low. Now he's a top six low. So I don't know if he's going to be anything more than an 85 and maybe even get worse from an 85. Um, we'll see, but he still has next year on his contract as well. So I'm kind of thinking maybe putting Boldy on the second line instead of Giryanov and maybe seeing if Rossi and Beckman can maybe be, maybe play the third line or maybe they fit on that second line as well and maybe we need to maybe we need to do um i guess that would be all playmakers if i would do cockney boldy and rossi on the second line that probably wouldn't be good if they're all playmakers i don't know if the game likes all all one player type on one uh, line like that then that would leave Felino Who fits pretty well on that second line, but he fits pretty well on all the lines so He can go basically anywhere and maybe play third line If we find better fits on the second line because if you remember the second line they were only getting a plus two even with Felino Kakniemi and um, Garyanov. And they all seem to fit pretty well on that second line. But it was still only a plus two, which is weird. Um, so maybe putting Boldy on that second line with uh, Kakniemi and Felino, maybe that would get maybe like a plus three or. I don't know if you can get a plus four. I It's not going to be a plus five. A lot of uh, moves that we could do to try get better, better line combination pluses or whatever. But for now, let's uh, get into the draft. We'll probably be somewhere in the 20s again, I'm guessing. Maybe high 20s. All right, so St. Louis gets first overall. Detroit goes from nine to two. Montreal, Nashville, Chicago, on and on and on. We made playoffs, so we're not going to be in that. Retired players. Any big names? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of big players. Sort by games played. Ooh, Chara. All right, so Zdeno Chara finally retires at 47 years old. He's a 79 overall still. Oh my god. Wait. He has 1,825 games. What is the record? Does that break uh, um, Patrick Marlowe's record? Oh yeah, that does. Yeah, so Zdeno Chara holds the record for NHL games now at 1825. Which is like... 60 some more than uh, Marlowe. That's nuts. Okay. Um, Dustin Brown retires. He's 39, 79 overall. Spezza retires. He had over a thousand points. Vlasic. Zach Parisi retires. 39 years old. 
So after the buyout, what did Parisi do? COVID year, played 45 games, and he was kind of out of the lineup a little bit at the end of the year. Had 18 points to finish out that year with us. Then he went to the Islanders for a year, played 82 games, 35 assist, or 35 points. He's a minus six. Then goes to the Devils for a year, plays 76 games, 23 points. And then goes to Dallas for last year, gets 33 points and was a minus four. So Parisi, yeah, he was done, especially in this game. In real life, I don't think he's really doing that great either in the, with the Islanders. But there's the end of Parisi's career. He had a real... That was like the same number that Kaprizov just had. So, yeah, Parisi had some good years in, in New Jersey. And he had some good years with Minnesota. Just... He was always just kind of hurt with us anyways. He never played like a full season. Was 12-13 the lockout? So that's maybe why that was short. 67 games, 74, 70, 69, 42, 40, 74, 69, 45, COVID year. Um, yeah, so Zach Parisi retires. Jonathan Taves retires. He almost had a thousand points. Louis Erickson retires. Bozak. Mark Stahl retires. Jack Johnson. Boyle. Bunch of guys with a lot of games. Uh, Pat Maroon, the big rig, retires. He had, let's see. So, Stanley Cup winner in 19. Stanley Cup winner in 20. Stanley Cup winner in 21. Stays with Tampa for one more year. Chicago for two years. Any other wild, maybe? Ian Cole played for the wild for one year. What is that logo? God damn. Greg Pattern. Brad Hunt. <laughs> all right. So there's all the retired players. A lot of players with a lot of games this year. And Chara breaks the record for games played at 47 years old. Let's look at Chara. So he played a couple AHL games too this year, but 62 games. He's a plus 306. What a fucking career that is. Seven, over 700 points as a defenseman. So Hall of Fame for sure for Chara. It's fun to look at hockey stats like that. All right, so the following players are now coaches. Jonathan Taves with the Flames, Dustin Brown with the Hurricanes, and Zach Parise with the Stars. I wonder what kind of coach Zach Parise would be. He might be a forwards coach. That'd be a good story, Parise coming back to Minnesota to coach. But we got our coach for the future. We're good. Let's view draft class. Just see where what kind of players. All right. So right away, three elite mediums. A defenseman. Left-handed defenseman. A defensive defenseman. A sniper. Two-way forward. Sniper medium elite. Uh, are there any gems that we can look at right away? Okay. So that guy. Elite low. So maybe we'll get maybe this guy in the third round or the second round, this guy in the third round. This guy in the 4th, 5th, 6th or something. But I don't think we'll be able to get this guy. There's a bust, so we gotta not pick that guy at 27. There's a goalie, but he's only 2 bars, so who knows. 
He's 150th ranked. Other than the gems, for our first round, I think we might just pick the best player. Because it's not like a late first round is going to make too much of a difference right away. So I don't even know um, what pick we have or what picks we have. So we have, oh, we got 19th, 51st, 83rd, 2 fourths, 6th, 5th, 6th, and a 7th. So let's see who's at 19. I'm not going to trade up because that would mean um, trading away some players that I don't really know what I want to do with right now. Like, like, um... Greenway and Garyanov. Okay, so there's a left wing. We don't know his potential. We don't know anything about him at 19. He's 6'4", 221 pounds, so he could be a power forward, which I wouldn't hate. Ooh, maybe we could maybe try to trade up to 17. He's an elite medium, two bar scouted, two way forward. But even if he's not a medium elite, he could be like maybe a top six for a two-way forward that maybe could play bottom six for us. Maybe that third line. Oh, there we go. So elite medium three bar, right wing, maybe a playmaker. He's 5'11", 177. Maybe we'll go for that guy. That's three bar medium lead. That is pretty good, actually. Top six, medium, two bar. But that's the bust. Okay, we can't pick that guy. Top six, top nine, forward. So I'm thinking maybe this guy who's just at 19. We, have, we don't know nothing, anything about him. But he's possibly a power forward for looking how big he is. But maybe we go for this guy, who's got three bar scouted medium elite. Right wing, shoots left handed though. I honestly think we should go with this guy because we don't know anything about this guy. He could be, you know, a bottom six forward or something. Okay, let's just sim to our, our pick. So the first pick, the blues select and Shea, he's 80 overall, medium elite, a defensive defenseman. All right. So the Blues stay kind of... Blues are kind of a defensive team when I think about the Blues, right? Big, big defensive, two-way forwards. So they get a really good defensive defenseman. Okay, let's sim to our pick, 19. So... Top six. Let's see who's available. All right. So unknown guy, Davidson or Madsen. I think we should go this guy. He was a C minus competition, which is pretty average. He had 35 goals, 58 assists. He was a minus four. So looking at the, sh the weakness, the shot utilization, I'm guessing he's not a sniper then. Puck protection, puck protection, defensive zone play, passing ability are his strengths. NHL ready, two years maybe. I think we should go with this guy. We're going to do it. What was his name? Madsen. What is he? Top six, medium, power playmaker, right wing. But he's left-handed. All right. Um, right on track with everybody else. Look like that. <laughs> All right. So he wasn't the medium elite, but he's a top six. So that's still pretty good. 65 overall, though. Just look at everyone else. 65. 65. 65. 65. Okay. Then we'll go to 51. And then maybe we'll just start picking these gems right away. 
goalie right away. Elite medium. McKenna. He's maybe a power forward, uh, top six low. For the second round. I guess that's not terrible. He's ranked 68. What are we, 51 right now? Yeah, let's just pick this guy. He shoots right-handed. Maybe a two-way. Now that I'm looking at him. Power forward, top six low. Okay. 64 overall, so that's pretty good. 83. Okay, right defenseman. Defensive defenseman for sure. Top four low. 64207. I think I like that. I like the defensive defenseman with an offensive pairing. Those work out pretty well. And they get normally they get good pluses, but Okay, so defensive defenseman. 64 overall, top four defenseman low. Maybe we can get a good pair with him and he'll maybe be a good player for us in the future. All right. So this guy is ranked way lower. So maybe we could wait on him for a couple rounds. Maybe let's go with current rankings and just look. So maybe the elite low right defenseman two-way defenseman yeah let's go with him he's next up on the top six D low damn it okay 123 maybe we'll pick this guy and then the next next round next pick we'll do the gem elite medium maybe again Two-way defenseman. Fuck it. Seventh. Fuck. 147. So maybe we can wait even one more on that other gem. Let's do... You know what? I want to do this. Elite high. Two bars. Goalie. I mean, probably not an elite high, but maybe he's a starter high. Maybe a backup high. Another goalie. Fringe starter high. So not great. Sixth round. Okay, now we'll go with uh, the gem. He's maybe an elite low. Forward, left, left wing. He's a playmaker. Let's see what he is. Maybe he's like a top nine. Elite low. Playmaker, left wing. He's only 56 overall, but elite low for the sixth round. That's still good. So there's a good sixth round pick. Top six, forward low, sniper maybe? Or maybe we could go with top six, forward low, grinder. He's ranked less than this guy. You know what, let's go with the grinder. Top six, low, come on baby. Yeah, top six, low, grinder. 50 overall. So that's all right for a draft, right? Maybe, I don't know. Madsen at 19. And then we got a, three gems, so. All right, go to re-sign phase. Let's go by positions. So let's start with the centers. And then, <clears throat> guess we'll sort by potential. So Marco Rossi, he's a top six medium, 81 overall, 22 years old see what he's asking for so he's not asking for a lot so maybe let's go let's 
Let's go two years at 825. Because then it bumps up a little bit from there. That'll give me enough time to actually decide what our future is with Marco Rossi. So two years, 825 for Marco Rossi. All right. All right. Geeky, is that how you say this guy's name? Geki. He's 25. He's a top nine. He is 80 overall. What kind of player is he? He's a two-way. Maybe we should try keep this guy in case he's maybe could play fourth line. He wants two years, seven, seven, five. Sounds good to me. He's 80 overall. That's pretty cheap for an 80 overall guy. All right. Kahara, Kahara, however I say this guy's name. Um, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of out on the the grinder players right now because they're not getting that much, um, they're not getting the pluses I want on the fourth line, so we're going to release him. Same with, yeah, grinder. Release. Paquette, another grinder. Release. Kahovanov. Is that how you say that guy's name? Um, top six. Forward. 74 overall. 24 years old. If he wants cheap, I'll give him cheap. Two years. 775. Okay, that's fine. He's probably not going to be a top six guy because he's getting too old, but we'll give him uh, that for now. Top six low. When did we grab this guy last year? Yeah. Okay, we'll sign this guy. Entry level deal. Top six low. 66 overall. 20. 20 years old so uh, I don't know I thought this was sorted by potential or overall um okay elite low 53 overall 19 years old I guess we'll sign him because he's going to be a UFA so I need to sign him Probably won't see anything from him, but he's an elite low, so I give him the benefit of the doubt there. Uh, same with this guy. Fuck it. Might be running out of uh, contract spots at the end of this if I sign all these guys, but top nine low will release you. Okay, that looks good for centers. Uh, elite low, we can wait for him. Top six low, we can wait. Connor Dewar, 79 overall, 24 years old. I like Dewar because maybe we can move him to center too. And then maybe we can maybe develop him into something. He's getting a little older, so we need to kind of do something with him if we're going to. Two years at 775. Okay, another grinder we'll get rid of. Right wings. Top six, we can wait. Top six, low, we can wait. Ladina, 78 overall, 24 years old. Playmaker, top nine. Two years, seven, seven, five. It's fine with me. Top nine, medium. 58 overall, 19 years old. He's a top nine medium, top nine medium, 58 overall. Yeah, I guess. Entry level deal. Hornquist, we're going to release. McEwen, we're gonna release. He's another grinder. Colasar, another grinder. Release. 
Uh, defenseman. Top four, low, 64 overall, 18 years old. We can wait. Walsh. Top six, medium, 78 overall, 25 years old. Oh, that's that offensive defenseman. He's got a decent shot. He's only 82 offensive awareness for an offensive player. But I kind of like, maybe we can fit him in somewhere. I'll do one year, 8-5-0 oh, for Walsh. An offensive defenseman. Okay. Top six low. Nothing. Top six Bowie. I kind of like those bubble guys. Um, plus, Bowie's got that 90 durability, so I'm going to sign him actually. Maybe he'll be uh, a seventh D or something. Should we maybe lock him in for longer? He's 29. Maybe we should give him a three-year deal at 800. So he'll that'll time out to him being 32. Um, he shouldn't get really any worse than maybe a 77. So I like that contract for Bowie. Honka, he's about the same. He's a year younger. Yeah, he's got that good durability as well. Maybe we should sign him for like the same thing. Three years, 800. Just, it kind of shores up that seventh D in case we got injuries. Kulak, 30 years old. How much does he want? One, two, five for Kulak. I'm going to wait for him. Maybe I'll double check on him. 7th D, 7th D, 7th D. Yeah, we don't need any of those guys. Goalies. Okay, so we got Wallstedt, Kakanen. They both are on that one more year. And then we got that Skinner guy that I signed last year, who's 82 overall. That could easily be the backup, but we still have Kakanen. So maybe we trade Kakanen. Maybe we get rid of Kakanen to get rid of the 2.4 mil. And then we have Skinner be our backup. And then we got Jones, a couple fringe starters. So there's another guy we need to double check on is Kakanen. He's not that expensive, only 2.4, but it's another 2.4 that we could get rid of if we needed to. So, Kulak, I'm going to release. That'll bring us to 50 contracts. So, we might need to trade a couple people if we are tight on contracts. Sim a day, see if this goes. Okay. Bowie rejects. All right. Doer signs, 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 signs. Honka signs. K. Okay. Rossi signs. Bunch of young guys. Eventual more day. Just so. Bowie didn't want that three-year deal. Um, should we give him one? Just what he wants. One year, seven, seven, five. He's still, he's still got that really good durability, so I want to keep him. So one year for Bowie instead of three years. Uh, he rejects again. What the fuck? I gave him exactly what he wanted. One year, eight, five. How's that? that make you happy there we go all right so free agency but let's look at coaches for a sec i think we're good on coaches because i hired a shit ton of new players or new coaches we could use an associate coach at ahl maybe 
HL associate. Let's just go with a general. Three years. Fine with me. Then maybe scouts. What are we at for scouts? Yep, need to hire some scouts. Okay, NHL. Just hire the best, see what we get. AHL. I get two of everything to start. QMJHL. Do this guy. He's got five years instead of the other guy who was three. Okay. Europe. Only C's. Uh, we'll do a two year then. Russia. Only C's. I guess we'll do a three year. Uh, yeah, we'll just start with that, see, then go from there. If we. I don't really know how many scouts to hire per thing. Okay, let's go to trade, the trade screen. So we still have a lot of cap space, even with the buyouts, because we have a really young team. And this is the last year with the buyouts, so next year we'll be able to pay some people, which is good. Okay, so centers. We got Bedard at an 86, Perfetti at an 86, Kakniemi at an 86, Rossi at an 81, Hartman at an 81, uh, Geeky at an 80. And then Lizotte, 79. So centers, I think we're fine. Perfect. Maybe we'll get a two-way for the fourth line. Uh, Kaprizov is at a 91. Giryanov is at an 85. Felino's at an 85. Greenway, oof, is at an 84. And his trade dead, or his trade value went down. Boldy is at an 83. Dewar is at a 79. Beckman's at a 79. Lazat, Duhame. Don't have much right wings, but we have a center playing wing, and we have a bunch of left wings playing right wing. So that should be fine. We got Dumba at an 86. Rodine 84, Ethan Bear is an 82, Demulin's at an 82, Lambos is at an 81, Walsh 79, Merle 79, Addison 79, Honka 88, Bowie 88. So defensively, we're, our depth is fine. Maybe we should try, well, Lambos should be should develop more for next year i'm hoping lambos is like i don't know in 83 84 for next year instead of because he was in 82 last year right and now he went down to an 81 so hopefully he gets better he does have a medium elite so he should be better and then goalies, Wolstead, 86, Kakinen, 83, Skinner, 82, Jones, 78. Let's look at free agents. This might be a long video. <clears throat> All right. Elias Pettersson, elite high, 90 overall, 25 years old. He wants 12375000 for seven years. Kopitar, he's still a 90 overall. Two-way. 83 durability, so it's not terrible for Kopitar. Teravainen, Patrick Kane, 88. If we were to trade Garyanov, 
I would want another sniper. Which we may have in... What's that fucking young guy's name? That we just signed for a really long deal at under a million. He might fit in there at the second second uh, line. But he's not very good overall wise. So he's looking at someone like, I don't know, Patrick Kane or a different sniper. Dumb. To Foley maybe? What is his line scouted he fits on the forward line one I kind of want him for the second line though Duclair first line Sprong first line Matt Zuccarello still 84 overall he had a couple he had some good years um, in Carolina who did we trade was that Cockney Niami who we traded for Zuccarello? Durability is only a 72. You guys can't see that, but it is. The thing about these guys is you just don't know if they fit on your lines really until you have them. Or you've scouted them a, a good amount. Yarn Croc maybe could fit on that second line. You know what? I'm going to... Let's try get... Couple two-way forwards. Maybe we should try at Nick Benino again this year. Um, what did he do last year? Ten goals, twenty-one assists, minus twenty. Thirty-six. He still got really good durability. He's got a good face-off, good skating. Offensive awareness is eighty-two, which is fine for a fourth line guy let's try Nick Benino for maybe that fourth or maybe third line um, let's give him let's give him exactly what we gave Hartman but only one year so one year 1.7 for Benino eighty overall Hopefully he keeps at 80 overall. He is a little bit older. Okay, I'm thinking maybe this Trennan guy. Uh, 85 durability, 85 face-off. Two-way forward, maybe on that fourth line. Maybe an AHL or who knows. We'll give him one year, uh, 800,000. Okay, left wings. Maybe Brett Conley, he's got... 89 durability and he's a two-way he's 32 years old um, let's offer him one seven one year deal we're going short short term with these guys um, because we don't really know if they fit in our lineup yet if they do fit in, they could maybe have a longer career with us, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, Nick Felino. Should we maybe get Nick Felino? The Felino brothers had get both of them. He's. He's got a good uh, face-off, too, so maybe we can have him play center as well. We'll do 175 for uh, Nick Felino for one year. Okay, that should be maybe good to shore up that fourth line. So we got a bunch of cap space, plus I want to trade Greenway. Let's look for a sniper. So let's do, yeah, sniper. Right handed. Maybe we could do a Greenway plus Giriana for a right handed sniper that could fit in really good on that 
that third line. Or maybe we just sign to Foley. Because I guess... Now that I'm thinking about how much cap space we have, maybe we don't need to trade guys because we can sign guys like Toffoli and see how he is on that second line without like, because we have 14 million in cap space right now. He wants three years, it's a top six. He wants 6.75. You know what I might do? I might do a one year and just pay him a shit ton of money because we can. And then that will for sure, or maybe a two year, That man, then maybe that'll for sure, um, that'll for sure get him. And then we'll see if he fits on that line, on that second line. And then if he doesn't, we can just play him on the third line and maybe even just trade him after a year. Maybe we'll do that. So two years, seven mil for Toffoli is what I'm thinking. Because we have the room. So let's try it. Two years gives us a little bit more time um, to trade him if we need to. And then if he fits in good, then perfect. Then we have him for an extra year. So... think that makes sense let's sim a couple days see if some guys sign all right the coach signs in the AHL scout bunch of scouts even more scouts all right we got Nick Foligno uh, Trennan 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 we got Nick Bonino we got Conley, Pittsburgh wants Skinner and Jones for a third and a six. Get the fuck out of here. And we got to Foley. All right. So even with all those, to Foley was only the big cap guy. So we should actually have some more cap room. So we have almost six. Josh Bailey, two way. He's got a pretty good face off. Maybe we try get Josh Bailey. He wants two years, but maybe we'll do. Let's do one year. Four mil for Josh Bailey. He probably will play. I mean, he could play anything on the bottom six. Let's do it. So that may be our last guy that we sign other than um, bubble guys that are cheap. All right, and we got Josh Bailey, a two-way center who uh, could play wing as well. So can we do any contract extensions right away? Ooh, we can. We can do Cockney, Perfetti, Greenway, and Demulin. So I want to do Perfetti right away. How much is he asking for? If we do eight years, he wants five. Ooh, he gets cheaper if we go longer. So let's do it. So he wants five years at 8.6. But if we go up to eight years, he'll be 30. And he only wants 7.25. And maybe even we could even get him for like seven. Or 6.9. <laughs> Should we try that? Perfetti at eight years at under seven. That would be perfect. Because that's not that bad for Perfetti, who's a plus five on that first line. We're doing it. 
And then if he signs, we'll maybe look at Cockney Niemi. Cockney Niemi actually might, well, maybe not. He's only an elite low. Let's see what he's asking for. Four years, 6.8, okay. If we go up, yeah, his, his asking price goes up if we go up. So maybe <clears throat> that four years would be all right with me. You know what's broken on this game is the con or the uh, the expiry status. It says RFA even like when he's 32 years old. That's not right. Unless I'm totally missing something, that seems completely wrong so maybe we could do cockney Niemi for four years at like six and a half or something like that if perfetti signs or maybe we should just offer it right away because that's not that bad you know what let's do do 6-4 four for four years see if he takes that greenway i'm gonna not do anything with because he doesn't fit um demulin no and then garyanov doesn't want one so there's another reason why we might have to trade him Let's see about goalies Okay, we could do Wallstat right away as well. What's he asking for? Four years at 4.35. Does he go way up if I go? Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Four, yeah, that's not bad. Maybe we should try get him maybe four years for four mil. Four mil for eight for four years. See if he takes that. I like that deal. He might. See, this is why I don't like that, because now I can't trust if he's an RFA at the end of that. Let's do, let's see if he takes four years at four mil. I'm fine with that. And cacking in, we're not gonna. I'm getting our future guys hopefully locked in here. So let's advance. All right, so Wallstead uh, accepts that four mil at four years. So that's good. Got our goalie locked down for a little bit. Now Bedard, I really want to see Bedard sign that contract. That would be so good if he signs that. Cockney Niemi signs, K. Okay. So what was that, four years? Four point or six point four was that what that was? So that's a I like that contract for a second line center and Perfetti signs as well. So we got Perfetti for eight more years at six point nine. That is gonna be good. That is gonna be really good because he's gonna be skyrocketing on that plus five line. Perfect. Fuck yeah. Anything else I need to do before? Let's save. That's for goddamn sure. That was so clutch that he, the asking price went down for the long, longer time we signed him for. Perfetti for the boys. For the fucking boys. Let's look at our trade screen just one more time here. So we have 48 contracts. We're just under 90 mil. So we have three mil of cap space. So we got Bedard, Perfetti. Let's go by overalls. Bedard, Bedard, Cackney, Emmy, Perfetti, Rossi, Hartman, Benino, uh, Green, Geeky, Geeky, Lazat. Trennan. So that's that's good for centers for sure. Maybe we should. Oh fuck. 
Are we still waiting? Oh yeah, um, he was a left wing, that's why. So then for left wings, we got uh, Kaprizov, Garyanov, Felino, Greenway, Boldy, Bailey, Nick Felino, Connor Dewar, Adam Beckman. So that's good for left wings. Then we got Toffoli and Conley for right wings. We actually have a couple right wings. Ladina, uh, Duhame, and then defensemen. We got Dumba, Brodeen, Bear, Demulin. Oof. That bear at 5 mil isn't looking as good as I thought it was going to be looking. Lambos, 81. Should be better next year. Then we got Walsh. Uh, Ad uh, Merle, Addison, Honka, Bowie. So, I the only reason I didn't really sign another defenseman is because Lambo should be better for next year. But Ethan Bear went down to an 82. Hopefully, he gets back to like an 83, maybe an 84 if he's with Lambo, who will be better. But yeah, I wish our defensemen looked a little better. Perfect. Hopefully Bear bumps up again and hopefully Lambos gets better. So it maybe is looking worse than it actually is right now. And then we got actually some pretty good depth if I'm going to keep uh, Kakin in as our backup. So yeah, maybe just sign some depth guys and then... Let's sign another goalie, and then maybe, should we do maybe another center? Maybe another two-way center, and then that should be pretty good. Uh, our depth for next year is going to be actually, I think, better than last year. So goalies, let's do someone with good durability. Because I am thinking about bumping up the injuries for next year because there's really haven't been any any injuries while we're playing this. I mean, some like minor injuries, but just not very many of them. 75. Durability 90. So maybe that guy? 77. Durability 90. And he's cheaper. We'll do that guy. One year. And then let's do forward. Yeah, forwards. And then let's just see if I'm can maybe get one more guy. One more guy for that bottom six. Only wants a one. Maybe we should do that. Tyler Johnson. 83. What's his face off? 77. Okay, we'll do Tyler Johnson. We're only doing one year. And then... 275. And then that will be... If he signs, that'll be our last, last player. Ah, shit, he didn't sign, fuck. Okay, um, okay, but the goalie did. Should we maybe do a defenseman? Tyler Meyer, 80, 88 overall, or not 88 overall, 82 overall. Oh, he's a little too expensive, fuck. Should we maybe do a defenseman? We got Demulin and Addison on that third pair. And I like Addison at that third pair because he is on the second unit um, power play. But maybe there's an offensive defenseman that's better. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um... But maybe we should go with a defenseman. Can we afford any of them, though? Colin Miller. 
83 durability is a two-way it's a pretty good skater decent stats everywhere else he's not very expensive maybe we should try for him Goligoski is still an 80 overall so he went to Ottawa after he played for us for a year had a pretty eh, 26 points minus 8 and then last year he was 16 points minus 22 so that's not a good year maybe he'd be a 7th D for us because I want Addison playing uh, yeah let's do him 1, 2, 5 for one year just a little bit better of a depth defenseman for us and then that gives us a little bit more cushion in cap spaces too if he takes it all right so we got colin miller he's 81 overall so he's not terrible um durability wasn't that great but that's fine i think that is all we need to do sim to next season We'll get a sneak peek of our of our of our lines before I edit them, and then we'll end the video. How about? All right, so let's look at the lines. Uh, these aren't the ones that I've made, so let's just see what pops up. Ooh, so Toffoli gets a plus five as well. He's a carry shoot on that first line, but um, okay. So it looks like we're gonna go Bedard on that right wing again this year because um, his faceoffs are only 76 and Perfetti's is 86. So we'll do that and then. Ooh, Marco Rossi's in 84. How did that happen? Okay, what does he fit on? He fits on that second line. Damn, they only get... Yeah, that's all that. Um, all... Um, they're all playmakers, so... Bailey's scratch and Nick Felino scratched. So Lambos is only an 82 again. That's not good. Fuck. Uh, Connor Miller. Addison isn't on the roster right now, but... Um, yeah. So... Not exactly what I wanted to happen. I wanted. I was hoping that Toffoli would get a better plus than Garyanov on the second line. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. He is a carry shoot. And he fits on that first line. I mean, it's good problem to have. Having two make hard decisions like this um but i will iron all this out 
uh, for next video. Um, I know that for sure this first line is going to be like this. And I know Cockney is going to be the second line center. That's about the extent of the for sures. Defenseman will probably go like um, Addison right there on that third pair. But, um, yeah, shit. That Toffoli thing really fucked us. Being a carry shoot, he doesn't work at all except on the first line. The game doesn't, or the team doesn't like it when you sign someone and trade him right away, but we might have to trade him right away for somebody else. Um, but now he's got seven mil. He might have to be a third line guy with no pluses. We'll see, I guess. All right, I'll get all that ironed out. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, Perfetti with the big, the big, uh, for the boys move with the eight year under seven mil. That's huge. So now Bedard and Kaprizov will be able to get paid. Shout out Perfetti. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Go wild.